Lesson 1 Evolution of Computer Learning Outcomes Early Age Calculation Devices Modern Age Computer Generations of Computer Characteristics of Computer Limitations of Computers Introduction a computer is an electronic device which is used to take data, process it, store it, and show the required output. People used stones, marbles, bones, small sticks, fingers, etc. to calculate and maintain their necessary record. With the development of civilization, scientists invented some calculating device which made it easier to count numbers quickly. Early Age Calculation Devices 3000 BC Abacus The Abacus is believed to be the first counting device developed in China in 3000 BC to perform simple calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Abacus is made up of wooden frame with rods, each having beads. Frame is divided into two parts, heaven and earth. There were two beads on the red in heaven section and five beads in earth section. It is still in use in many countries, especially in Asia and Africa. Do you know, the word abacus has been derived from the Greek word apex, which means a flat surface. 1614 Napier's Bones in 1614, Scottish mathematician John Napier invented a calculating device called Napier's Bones. It was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The device was so named because it had numbers curved on bones or on scripts of wood. 1642, Pascal's Adding Machine Blaise Pascal, who was a French mathematician, invented the first mechanical calculator in 1642. It was called Pascalin and consisted of a rectangular box with eight movable wheels. It was capable of performing addition and subtraction. 1671 Leibniz Calculator in 1671, a German mathematician, Gottfried von Leibniz, built a calculator which could add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Here are their pictures. Gottfried von Leibniz and Leibniz calculator look like this. 1822, Charles Babbage's Difference and Analytical Engines Charles Babbage, a British mathematician, invented difference engine in 1822, an analytical engine in 1833. Difference engine was the first mechanical computer which could perform complex mathematical calculations. Charles Babbage improved his machine and invented the first general purpose computer called the analytical engine in 1833. This machine could do addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, and much more. Analytical engine had the same basic elements as modern computer, input, output, store, mill and control. Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. He gave the concept of a programmable computer for the first time. Do you know? Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace was an English mathematician and writer. She was the daughter of Lord Byron, an English poet. She was the assistant of Charles Babbage and developed program for Babbage's analytical engine. She is considered as first programmer of the universe. The computer language ADA Ada was named after her. 1890 Tabulating Machine Hermann Hollerith, a mechanical engineer, developed a fast computing machine called Tabulating Machine in 1890. It was designed to record census data using punched cards. He started a company which later became IBM International Business Machine. Do you know? Punched cards or punch card are the paper of wooden cards containing several holes punched by hands or machines to represent data. 1941 Mark 1 
Mark I was the first automatic digital computer which was developed by Howard H. Aiken in 1941. It could perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication. This machine was very big in size. It was about 15 meters long and needed 800 kilometers long wire to connect its different parts. 1946, ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator ENIAC was the first electronic computer. It was developed by John Moshley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946. It was 1,000 times faster than Mark I. It consisted of 18,000 vacuum tubes. It was very large in size and consumed a lot of electricity. 1949, EDSAC Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator EDSAC was developed by Morris Wilkies in 1949. It was the first electronic computer that used stored programs which was faster than ENIAC. 1951, UNIVAC 1 Universal Automatic Computer 1 UNIVAC was developed by John Moshley and J. Presper Eckert in 1951. It was the first commercially available electronic computer. It was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. It was also the first computer to use magnetic tape. Modern Age Computer Modern computers are much smaller in size, consume much less electricity, and work fast. Besides performing calculations, today's computers help us to do a lot of things, some of which are used today. Some of which that are used today are shown below. Desktop Computers Desktop computers are placed on a desk and commonly used at homes, schools, shops for a variety of purposes, including graphic design, data entry, research and gaming, etc. Laptop computers A laptop is a personal computer small enough to sit in a person's lap. It is designed for mobile users and is also called notebook. Laptops are smaller, thinner and lighter than most desktop PCs. Tablet computers Tablet computers resemble smartphones in some ways. They can also be used to take photos, make phone calls, send messages, record videos and perform other tasks that can be performed by a smartphone as well. Generation of computers the development in the field of computers have been divided into generations. With every passing generation, computers got better, faster and smaller. There are five generations of computers. Let us discuss the characteristics of each generation individually. First generation computers 1940 to 1958. The first generation of computers started with ENIAC. Some key characteristics of the first generation computers are as follows. Characteristics They used vacuum tubes, used punched cards and paper tape for input and output. They consumed a lot of electricity. They were very expensive, for example Mark I, ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC, etc. Limitations First generation computers were not portable as they were very large in size. They generated a lot of heat, so air conditioning was required. They used machine language only, so programming was very tedious, less storage capacity and unreliable. Remember, vacuum tube is a glass tube from which all the air has been removed. It is an electronic component that allows the free passage of electric current. Second generation computers 1959 to 1963 To overcome the difficulties faced in the first generation computer, changes were brought in the hardware that facilitated the development of the second generation computers. Some key characteristics of the second generation computers are as follows. They used transistors instead of vacuum tubes, 
used punched cards and magnetic tapes for input and output. They became smaller in size as compared to the first generation computer, faster, cheaper, and more reliable than the first generation computer. Example, IBM 1401, Leo, Honeywell 400, etc. Limitations Generated heat, so a cooling system was still required. Speed was still slow, memory was less. They used assembly language for writing programs. Third generation computer, 1964 to 1970. Improvement in the hardware of second generation computer produced the third generation computers. Some key characteristics of third generation computers were as follows. They used IC, integrated circuits in place of transistors. They used keyboard for input and monitor for output. They used high-level language. They produced less heat as compared to the previous two generations of computers. Maintenance cost was low because hardware failure was rare. Smaller, faster, cheaper and more reliable than previous generations. Examples IBM 360, ICL 1900, Apple 1, etc. Limitations Temperature control system was required. Highly sophisticated technology required for the manufacture of ICs. Fourth generation computers 1971 to 1988. Further improvement in the hardware brought in the fourth generation computers. Its key characteristics were used VLSI, very large scale integration chips as their brain. They were very cheap, more powerful and reliable than the previous generation computers. Used keyboard, mouse and scanner etc. for input and monitor, printer, speakers for output. They were very small in size and easily portable. Much faster, high storage capacity. Example, IBM PC, Apple, Macintosh, HP 9000 etc. Limitations a bit expensive than previous generation computers, technological requirements were high for the manufacture of VLSI chips. Fifth generation computers, 1989 till present. This is the generation of computers that has been in use till now. Advancements in hardware and software have facilitated their continuous evolution. Characteristics Utilizing super-large-scale integrated chips, use of artificial intelligence, AI, makes today's computers think like human beings. They have the ability to recognize images and voice capacity to solve complex problems. They are more user-friendly interface, very small in size and easily portable. For example, IBM notebooks, Pentium PCs, Core PCs, Param 1000, and robots. Characteristics of computers. The word computer is derived from the verb compute, which means to calculate. However, computers are not just fast calculators. They can also perform non-arithmetic operations such as copying, moving, comparing, and so on. The characteristics that make modern computers unique are Speed. A computer takes only few seconds for calculations that we may take hours to solve. Accuracy. A modern computer always gives correct results and never makes mistakes while doing calculations. Erroneous results in computers are due to human faults and incorrect data. Diligence. Untiring. A computer never suffers from boredom, tiredness or lack of concentration. It can do the same work again and again with the same accuracy and speed. High Storage Computers can store a large amount of data safely in its memory for future use. Versatile A computer can perform different kinds of tasks. It can work with different types of data such as pictures, audio, video and so on. Automatic 
once the instructions or programs are fed into the computers, it executes them automatically. It does not need any human interference. Multitasking A modern computer can do multiple things at the same time, which is called multitasking. You can listen to music and send an email at the same time. Limitations of computers in spite of so many advantages, computers do have some limitations. They are, it has no IQ, intelligence quotient, it is a dumb machine and depends on user input. A modern computer cannot think and cannot take its own decisions. It does not have feelings and emotions. It cannot detect errors in logic. A modern computer works only when electricity is available. Let's know more. Robots are used to perform various physical and dangerous tasks mechanically. They are either controlled by a computer chip or by a human. They are used for disposing of bombs, cleaning up nuclear waste, moving and lifting heavy objects, etc. Efforts are being made to develop intelligent robots that would take decision and perform just like humans. Recap Zone Abacus was the first counting device developed in China in 3000 BC. Charles Babbage, the father of computer, invented difference engine in 1822 and analytical engine in 1833. Mark I was the first automatic digital computer. The word compute is derived from the verb computer, which means to calculate. Robots are used to perform various physical and dangerous tasks, mechanics.